So today we're here at the Brushy Creek Mine to go underground and tour the facility and the surface facilities associated with that mine. It's actually a rather large opening underground that usually surprises people the first time. And we'll see general truck traffic. Um, it's a very industrial setting where they are moving around, breaking up rock and hauling it to the surface. When I was asked to go uh, on this site visit, I was expecting to be crawling in some areas and having a dusty everywhere, but I was blown away at how uh, pleasant the environment was. It was an extensive network of roads. Um, you know, you had probably five, six miles of, of roads, and if you connect them all together, it's probably a lot larger than that, but there was no claustrophobia going on. They mine and process three main metals here lead, zinc, and copper. And predominantly the lead that is produced here is used for batteries for your car. Um, copper is predominantly used for wiring in your house or other electronics. And zinc is usually used to galvanize steel. The ore that is extracted here is run through the mill and it's processed into what's called concentrate, which is then sold to a number of smelters that further refine it into what we would know as lead, zinc, or copper, the actual metals. From start to finish, it's a very involved process. Um, actually, from exploration activity all the way to the concentrate being sold can take quite a number of years. A lot of number of pieces of equipment and people are involved. Our role here is actually to permit and lease the public mineral estate for the American people and to allow private companies to develop that mineral estate. And for that process, we also bring in a royalty for the American people. I think it's really important uh, that we maintain these close relationships with companies like Doe Run and other mining operations. Uh, we all work together to make sure that uh, the resources are extracted responsibly and to find solutions to complex issues if they do arise but also that the American taxpayers are receiving the full value of the minerals that are extracted. We want to make sure that there's a return on investment there.